Okay, walk round of the anoxic pond, anoxic filter. Uh, we've got an aerated bottom drain in the bottom of the pond, which I'll just switch off a bit, which is under the bucket. Right. So, the aerated bottom drain comes along under the pond into a pump stump. So we've got two pumps. One, two, pumping up. One going to the bottom uh, feed of the uh, drum filter and the other goes up uh, into the UV light. That's up in the mid. Right, looks easier. So the other one comes up into UV back down. And then into the bottom of the filter there. So this box just contains the speed controllers for the two pumps. So this passes into the bottom of the drum filter. Comes up um, through the filter, this side there's a dirty filter coming up, through the drum, into the filter, and then out through the filter to this assembly, which showers down into under the filter. Under the filter I've got 20 anoxic baskets which I don't have access to um, but because they're under the filter they're very clean. Uh, bottom of the drum filter I've got plumbed straight into the mains here by solenoid. Um, there's an air pump. Two transformers for the um, pond, pond pumps. Right, so then it comes. Uh, where's it come? It comes under the under the drum filter. Right, oh, let's get in here with the water. And there you see one basket. So there's twenty. 20 baskets under there and the water then comes out all clean and divides two directions left and right um, so let's go around this way to start with so it comes out there into the first channel so now uh, this is just an overflow for the um, for the water flow to keep it to make sure it's not overflowing so that's just um, a bit of four inch pipe with an adjustable collar inside so I can reduce or increase the flow uh, and then the anoxic baskets if you can see them run along here uh, they're under they're underneath there that's just an old plastic pallet I cut up to keep the pond planters baskets away from the actual filter baskets. So got some more there. Some more there. And then <clears throat> and then it comes out originally. You can just see it oh, down there. Is a 32 mil pipe a mid water return. Um, these top returns I had to add after I'd fiberglassed it and filled it up because the um, the mid water returns 
couldn't carry enough water through and also the top was getting very mucky so I've added these I cut these in and refiberglassed them and that keeps the top clear as well as the mid water twins uh, so that comes down there let's just walk along to this side so So that's coming that way. So now the other div division comes this way. Again, goes. I don't know what that's doing there. Under the sleepers. It comes out. <coughs> comes out there. And now we've got baskets coming along this way. Again, these plastic cut up a plastic pallet to keep the um, irises away from the anoxic baskets so they're all down there just sat on some um, aluminium plastic coated pipe heating pipe to keep them off the bottom so they can run there and then same situation with guards two Somewhere down here under the skimmer. Uh, is just going past the fish. A 32 mil, I think it's 32 mil um, waste pipe coming out at the bottom of the filter chamber, down under that basket, and then another another um, surface return that I had to cut in at a later date to keep the flow going through, and then. Here is a gravity skimmer, a MIG skimmer that flows around the inside of the chamber with this pipe. And that goes back through all the way around, all the way around there. Back through into the pump sump. Oh, you know, Robin. It comes out down there. So that's just gravity fed into the sump, uh, the pump sump. Uh, what else? Waste water from the drum filter comes down that chute there. Tops down there the wall along the back of the pond just along here little rob in there and emerges whoa, there in the uh, it's got liner in the bottom so it's a kind of bog garden thing uh, just cut back uh, about three weeks ago because it had just gone wild there's reeds and grasses and irises and all sorts coming up in there um, and that just drains that just runs off down to an open pipe down there into the bamboo hedge and that is the anoxic filter that I didn't really explain on my original video uh, obviously keeping the water parameters perfectly um, never need to adjust or change anything. The fish quite happy. The water gets topped up with the rain and the overspray of the drum filter. So when it's cleaning, which I'll just do now, it's robbing again. When it cleans, I had to replace the gearbox yesterday because that packed up after three years. Um, so, when it cleans, you can see the solenoid down there. That's the pipe in there. And then the rest of it comes out there. Um, and there you can see the overspray that goes into the pond. So you've got ordinary tap water, chlorinated tap water. But, people 
make a big fuss about, but that goes into the pond, circulates with the water, and then the um, UV lamp, which has got 72 watts UVC, UVC bulbs, so the water spirals around there. Um, and that takes out chlorine and any chlorine, so no need for carbon filters. Uh, chlorine always checks out zero chlorine chloramine. Um, project for next summer is to make use of the redundant and to replace this this cloverleaf UV filter tube with a new one uh, about four or five weeks ago <clears throat> because the ends had snapped off and it had rotted. So the next project will be to add a second one of those onto this pipe with uh, I don't know perhaps an 80 watt amalgam lamp along here so basically just replicating that side with an additional 80 watt amalgam UV lamp uh, a little chap there seems to hover around the garden quite a lot it's always out here um, and that's it pretty much didn't know anything else uh, yeah, um, what's it going to say? An oxic filter, no maintenance, uh, just takes cleaning out perhaps in the end of autumn. Just take all the baskets out, uh, swill out all the debris at the bottom, vacuum it, whatever, put the baskets back in, and that's it. And then the drum filter takes care of all the uh, solids. So, all in all, apart from the occasional mechanical issue with the drum filter, which, as I say, I had to replace the gearbox yesterday, which is in in that little white box. Um, but other than that, uh, yes, made completely maintenance-free pond. So, hopefully, it will uh, inspire others to have a go at using anoxic filtration instead of the water destroying aerobic filtration that gobbles up all the um, oxygen and K8 and everything else in the pond so there we have it any questions um, leave them in the bottom below I think I've covered everything this time and uh, enjoy cheers